Throughout history, humanity has witnessed a horrifying array of punishments designed not only to kill, but to instill fear and torment those who dared to break the law or defy authority. Among the worst of these were scaphism, keel hauling, and lynchy, gruesome methods so extreme that their very mention strikes terror into the hearts of those who hear their stories. These punishments, carried out in different corners of the world, pushed the boundaries of human cruelty. Scaphism, death by insects, and decomposition. Scaphism, also known as the boats, was an ancient Persian method of execution that stood out for its sheer barbarity. The victim was placed between two boats or hollowed out tree trunks, with only their head, hands, and feet protruding. Their body would be coated with a mixture of honey and milk, and they were force-fed the same concoction until they became violently ill. This mix, combined with the blazing sun, attracted insects, leading to a slow, agonizing process of death. The real horror came as swarms of flies and other vermin descended, feeding on the helpless victim. Over the days, as the person remained trapped in this torturous state, infection set in and the body began to decompose while the individual was still alive. Death could take days or even weeks, during which the victim experienced excruciating pain and the psychological torment of being eaten alive. The slow, torturous nature of scaphism ensured not only death, but prolonged suffering, making it one of the most terrifying punishments in recorded history. Its intent was clear to prolong the agony for as long as possible, all while nature itself became the executioner. Keel hauling, the pirate's torture. Keel hauling was a form of punishment primarily associated with European naval forces, especially during the era of piracy. The term comes from the Dutch word keel hollen, which literally means to haul under the keel. In this maritime execution, the victim was tied to a rope looped beneath the ship and then dragged underneath the vessel's hull from one side to the other. The journey beneath the ship was fraught with horrors. The ship's hull was often encrusted with sharp barnacles and jagged debris. As the victim was pulled through the water, their body was scraped along these barnacles, causing deep, painful lacerations. If they didn't bleed to death or suffer fatal injuries from the cuts, Drowning was the other likely outcome. If they were fortunate enough to survive the ordeal, they would still suffer from lifelong scars, both physical and psychological. Keel hauling wasn't merely a method of execution. It was a display of dominance and punishment designed to inspire fear and obedience. Its primary use was to maintain discipline among unruly sailors or to deal with pirates who defied the authority of naval commanders. While not as drawn out as scaphism, keel hauling was undeniably brutal, and survival was often seen as worse than death due to the traumatic injuries inflicted. Subscribe for more interesting content. Lingchi, Death by a Thousand Cuts. Lingchi, or Death by a Thousand Cuts, was a form of execution practiced in Imperial China as late as the early 20th century. It was reserved for the most severe crimes, such as treason or patricide, and involved a process of systematic mutilation. The victim would be tied to a wooden frame, and the executioner, armed with a sharp blade, would begin the gruesome task of slicing away small pieces of flesh from various parts of the body. What made Ling Chi particularly horrifying was the intention behind the punishment. It was not meant to kill swiftly. Rather, the executioner's skill lay in prolonging the agony by making shallow cuts that would cause intense pain without causing immediate death. Starting with the extremities, fingers, ears, or toes, the executioner would gradually work toward more vital areas. Death could come from blood loss or shock but in many cases, the final blow, often to the heart or neck, was only delivered after hours of unbearable suffering. In Chinese culture, this form of punishment was not only a physical torment, but also carried a spiritual component. The disfigurement of the body was seen as a form of dishonor, preventing the victim from entering the afterlife whole. 
Ling Chi was, therefore, a punishment of both body and soul, ensuring that the victim's suffering extended beyond death. Scafism, keel hauling, and Ling Chi are among the most brutal punishments ever devised, each uniquely horrifying in its methods of torture and execution. While the cultures that employed them sought to maintain control and order, the stories of these cruel punishments serve as a grim reminder of the depths of human cruelty. These punishments were more than just death sentences. They were spectacles of suffering, designed to instill fear and crush the human spirit long before the body gave out.